Welcome to another tutorial by Longhorn Physics. In this tutorial, I guess we want to go to uh, level two Nintendo Physics here. We've talked about a series circuit where the electrons flow in one path, can only flow in one path, and then we talked about a parallel circuit in another tutorial where electrons can flow in more than one path. But what happens if you need to find the total resistance of what I call a combo circuit when you have a parallel section and a series section. So how do you how do you do something like that? So that's what this tutorial is all about. So here's the uh, general rule. Um, you pretend these things are still in series, so you you need to add up this resistance plus the resistance here. But before we can do that, we actually need to find the the resistance of this parallel part. So I'm going to put R and P. And to do that, here here's the rule to do that. Um, all you have to do is when you're looking for the total resistance of a parallel circuit, uh, we have to use our, our inverse uh, equation. So we use 1 over R is going to be equal to 1 over 4 plus 1 over 2. So in order to find the resistance here of the parallel section, we have to solve for R here. Now, a lot of teachers like to go through all the mess of getting common denominators, but I like to take advantage of the fact that the TI calculator and other calculators have an X to the negative 1 button on there. So uh, let's go ahead and run through that. So we got, if you hit the, uh, here's how you do it on the calculator, just follow me here. Uh, you'd hit the 4, and then you'd look for the X to the negative 1 button. That's your inverse. And if you were to punch that there, you'd get uh, point. 2, 5 there. And then if you did the same thing for 1 half, you do 2, hit the x to the negative 1 button there, and you'd get 0.5. So right now our 1 over r is equal to 0.75. But we're solving for r, so all you have to do with that answer in your calculator is hit the x. So you have 0.75 in your calculator, and when you hit the x to the negative 1 button again, you wind up with r, and r is equal to 1.33 ohms. So what is your total resistance of this circuit right here, um, or this section of the circuit? Now we treat them as if they were in series. And what's the rule for series? In series, you simply just add up the resistances. So our total resistance here, for this example right here, would be 6 plus this section right here, the total resistance for that parallel part turns out just to be 1.33 ohms, just rounding off a couple of threes there on your calculator. So your total resistance would equal to 7.33 ohms. And then if you wanted to, you could plug it into Ohm's Law and you can solve for uh, the current, total current, uh, if you had a, a some kind of battery source. So that's a subject of another tutorial just to make this one not so long. So to recap, if you have a, a combination circuit where you have parallel and a series, um, you treat it like they were in series, but first you have to reduce this one to uh, uh, just one resistance, the effective resistance or the total resistance. And to do that, anytime you're looking for the total uh, resistance of a parallel circuit, you have to use this inverse equation where you sum up all the resistances, the inverses of each one. And then when you're done reducing this one or, you know, getting it down to just one resistance and you simply treat it as a series as you would here and you just add up your resistors. So in this one we got 7.33. So I want to let you know that all these uh, tutorials are available in some type of book form through a variety of uh, study guides uh, done by the author of Longhorn Physics uh, at starstudyguide.com. Uh, there's two A's. Our STAR is an acronym uh, for study guides in the uh, state of Texas uh, for the new testing they're doing. But this website has various physics uh, worksheets for teachers, uh, a couple of physics books. Here's a real good one here, Physics 101 has interactive worksheets and quizzes. And so just visit the website, see if anything can help you uh, further your physics skills.